So you've got Home Assistant set up and you've probably started to create some good automations and integrate your smart home devices into Home Assistant. What you're probably gonna need as well is a way to access Home Assistant remotely so you can view what's going on in Home Assistant and maybe even control some of the devices. You're probably gonna to want to control those devices using your voice. So you'll need some sort of integration from Home Assistant into your chosen voice platform, whether that be Google or Amazon. And you probably want somewhere to back up your Home Assistant because you don't want to be losing any of the data and configuration in it. So what I'm gonna do is talk about Nabu Casa and the integration with Home Assistant. So you can then start making use of remote controlling your Home Assistant platform integrating with your voice platforms, whether it be Google or Amazon, and providing cloud backups as well. So if you think that's gonna be of use, then stick around and watch the video. Thanks for watching. So what we've got here then is a nice clean installation of Home Assistant on my Home Assistant Green. Basically the only things that are configured at this point is whatever has been detected by Home Assistant during the setup process. So to set up Nabu Casa, we're gonna go into settings and then Home Assistant Cloud, and we'll do the configuration in here. So you can see there's an option in there to start a free one month trial, or you could actually go to the Nabu Casa website if you wanted to and start the trial from there by clicking on the um, start the trial button. So I've briefly touched on this already, but essentially what um, Nabu Casu is going to be able to enable you to do is firstly have remote access. So a key thing for your home assistant environment or any smart home is you've got remote access to it. So if you want to, I don't know, turn the heating on when you're on the way home or um, turn some lights on or a case where that I've had recently is... Uh, my daughter came home from school and she couldn't get in the house and we've got a smart front door lock so I could remotely uh, enable or open the front door with the lock and she could get in the house which was fantastic. So you definitely need to have remote access. Um, there are other solutions you don't have to use Nabu Casa but this is by far an easier solution. It also gives you the voice assist integration so you'll hopefully have seen my other videos where I'm integrating um, um, I should say, where I'm integrating the Amazon devices in my house and the Google devices. So it gives you the ability to pull your home assistant um, entities and devices through into your Amazon and Google um, smart home infrastructure and use those uh, smart home devices to control your home assistant devices which is a real win uh, until uh, home assistant voice becomes a bit more uh, established so the last thing and you get you may have seen my backup video my automated backup video for um, home assistant green so you you, give, you you are given I think it's about five gigs worth of um, disk space as well so you can use uh, the disk space allocated by Nabu Casa to back up your uh, home assistant environment well which is essential uh, so we'll click on the start trial period uh, enter the email address and password that you want to use for your Nabu Casa account and then we can click on start trial to get this going so you can see an account's been created check your email for instructions on how to activate your account so I need to flick over to my email and have a look to see if I've had any emails from the Nabu Casa team with some instructions how to set things up. So here we go, I've got my email, I can now confirm that email and start or continue with the setup process. So I now click on login using the email address and password that I'd put into the previous screen so we can log into the Nabu Casa platform and we'll get to see um, what's on offer. So once you're logged in, then you can see we've got a trial version and mine expires on February the 23rd, 2025. So at this point, you need to flick back to your Home Assistant instance and complete the email and password login, and then you can sign in. 
So that you've been asked here if you want to use the Home Assistant Cloud for Voice Assistant. Uh, I selected OK because then it give, then gives me the flexibility to use Home Assistant Cloud. Uh, as I said earlier, I've got my Google and I've got my Amazon devices integrated as well. So I've got three options for voice control uh, and I'm testing the Home Assistant um, preview edition as well for voice. You can see that's now connected and we can see the trials expire, expired. So from the text to speech side of things, you can configure it for your local language. So I'm obviously going to set mine to British because I'm in the UK. So if we flick back to Nabu Casa, you can see that um, we're, although we're logged in, we're not connected yet. So there's a little bit more configuration work we need to do. So if we go back into Home Assistant, you'll see the remote access option. We need, if you want to have remote access, then you can enable that. But as I said earlier, it's, I feel it's important to uh, have that capability so you can remotely monitor and manage your smart home with Home Assistant. So if you now click on the remote access link, what we need to do is put our username and password in for Home Assistant. So this isn't your email address and the account that you've just set up. This is actually your Home Assistant username and password. So you would have created this when you first set up Home Assistant. So that's probably got full admin rights to the platform. So now you're logged in and you're remotely accessing your Home Assistant environment through the NABU CASA interface. So that's all up and running and working. We've got remote access. We're in a trial period at the moment. So you can kind of kick the tires on it and see if it's something you want to make use of. If I just refresh that NABU CASA page, you can see I'm now, everything's connected. We've got remote access and we're all up and running, up and running and ready to go. Very straightforward, but essential, I think, um, to have a good experience with your Home Assistant. So hopefully now you've got Nabu Casa integration set up with Home Assistant, so you've got full remote access, which um, I'm sure you'll find useful. Probably the next step now, if you haven't done it already, is follow what my, one of my other videos on how to integrate Google or Amazon into your Home Assistant platform. So all of those existing devices and entities that you've got in Home Assistant can be exposed to those platforms. So you can control them manually, either with Google or Amazon, or you can use the voice control as well. The other thing that you probably want to do, going to want to do is make sure that you back up Home Assistant, because it would be awful if you'd spent all this time and effort uh, configuring lots of cool automations, doing lots of integrations, and for some reason you, you lose all the data. So make sure you back it up. If you want to know how to use the Home Assistant backup utility, then follow my video on that as well. Hopefully you found the video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. It motivates me to do more videos and lets me know that you're enjoying the content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.